I want everybody to look at the neighbor and say, I'm an answer, not your problem. <laughs> okay, isn't that awesome? Okay. Okay, now look at your neighbor and say, you're an answer, not my problem. Okay. When women think being a woman is a problem, they try to act like men. And we have had the whole culture of feminism saying, if you want to be powerful as a woman, act like a man. Well, I don't want to act like a man. I want to act like a woman. Because God said that woman needs to have an expression. Now, that's great to understand that we're not each other's problems. But the second thing is, if you're an answer, you need to begin to act like one. So tomorrow morning when you all brush your teeth, I want you to look in the mirror. I want you to get a little sister attitude, kind of get your hip out, going like this, <laughs> take your toothbrush out, point it at the mirror, and say, there is a problem out there. I am the answer to. Amen. Amen. You need to begin to see yourself as a God-crafted answer to relational problems. Yeah. You are an answer in a world that is desperate for something that you carry. And men and women together are better answers than either of them are apart. Yeah. My husband is X and Y. God's like, I'm going to make the man. He's going to be X and Y. That is his chromosome structure. But then God's like, that's awesome. But I just want to know what might happen if I could isolate the X, raise it to the second power, X, X. Okay, that is the woman. Because we are XX, God said, she'll multiply everything. She'll multiply everything I give her. You know, my husband gave me a house. I gave him a home. He gave me his last name. I gave him four boys with the last name. I'm trying to blame the grandkids. I mean, everything that he gave me, I gave it back to him, multiplied and in strength. But women that are broken don't multiply. They divide. And so it's really important that we allow God to change the way we see ourselves, that you understand that you are an answer. You say, I'm not an answer. Jesus is the answer. Well, Jesus is in heaven. You are going to be the only Jesus a lot of people will ever see. You are his hands. You are his feet. You know, Jesus didn't just take your place. He gave you his. He gave you his name. He gave you his authority. He gave you his perspective. We need to actually walk out what Jesus gave us.